Hey guys, this is Shubham and you have started watching my series Making Apps Red Automatic. So isn't it odd me? But that's true. Wouldn't it be very awesome? You have an app that can reply to your unwanted messages. It will be right. Just one day you come home very tired but you can want to chat with you but you know you are tired so you can you can't really uh, talk to her but you have an app that can do the same work for you so let's begin with our first title how to send multiple sms's to anybody you want over a single click of button i know you may be wondering like i said very bigger things at the beginning and now we are just talking about the normal sms's but believe you, to go somewhere high, we need to start from very basic things, right? So, let's begin. First thing that we'll discuss about is the plan that uh, how we, we are going to build app that can send multiple SMSs. Okay, so let's see. First thing is that we have to develop a layout. Okay, so in the layout, we will add three edit text and three button first edit text for entering the message second will be for mobile number and third will be for count like how many times you want to send the sms to particular user and three buttons one for uh, sending the message manually like when you click on that button then options will appear and user can choose between uh, which app he want to use to send that sms after that second button we will use for uh, sending sms via sms manager yeah, i will discuss about uh, what is sms manager okay and then third button for sending using whatsapp okay in this tutorial we will just uh, cover how to send sms using sms manager so sms manager is a normal service that present in all the android application and android application uses it to send sms uh, to anybody like we need to give it a number and a message so that sms manager sends to that particular destination okay and after that uh, sms sent then that sms manager service returns acknowledgement to our application like if that sms sent to that destination or there are some exception happen so that uh, SMS can't send and then we can decide uh, what to do after uh, receiving acknowledgement. So see this, like we will take input, send this input to SMS manager, SMS manager return acknowledgement and we will give to the next iteration. Again we will send mobile number, SMS, SMS manager send SMS and return acknowledgement and next iteration until our count ends so now we done explaining about the concepts and our plan is done so now we go to our main work programming okay so very simple task that you have to do is click on android studio icon in your desktop then if you are using it for first time then then the window like this will open and if you are using it for a bit then then all right then then it will be showing you tips or something close it and click on the file button and create new project okay for the beginners click on the first button start a new android tutorial project choose the empty activity you need to give your name package name and the location where you want to save this project like i gave your name auto sms sender and the package name like my website domain and the uh, name of the project you can do anything you want it's very easy okay and uh, language choose the java don't choose kotlin because this tutorial is completely based on java not on kotlin and then click on finish button
now this project will sync and that's it our uh, then two files will be open in front of it, like main activity and its xml file which is layout so as you are watching this video that means you are already familiar how to create layout so we will just fast forward it and move to the main concept okay so basically we are fast when we are fast forwarding i will explain you how i design that layout okay so let's start so i basically created a linear layout and then added three edit text and three button into it after that basically i just uh, gave it good design like uh, give it good colors and increase its size give it margin like that now i done with the layout now we need to join our layout with the java file like we need to bind it all the buttons and edit text so that we can get text whatever user in, enter there and we can add listeners to the button so that whenever you click on that button we can do some task right like that so let's do that now we done adding uh, all listeners and binding the layout now uh, the first thing that is required is we need to ask user permission we will just go to our manifest and write the single line like users permission Android permission send SMS. Okay. After that, we need to ask permission like um, permission to the user in our uh, main activity, right? So for that, um, there is too much hectic code to write. So I thought, why don't we use a library? So here is the library known as Dexter. This library provides all the functionality to ask permission. Like we can ask multiple permission. We can ask single permission. First thing, let's copy their code and just paste it at the starting of main activity. Now we need to uh, add dependency in our Gradle file too. And just import everything, Alt Enter and it will be imported. Okay, so we will replace that camera with uh, send SMS because we require uh, SMS function. Now we have permission. Now we will uh, do the, our main task of uh, sending SMS. So let's initialize SMS manager service. SMS manager then we will give some variable name let's give it SMS manager then new SMS manager I oh, know something is missing yeah SMS manager dot get default yes now SMS manager dot send text message now we will just give a destination address that is our mobile number we are writing text mobile number And remaining arguments we don't care about. so we will just add null to uh, every argument that we don't know about
now this will send sms but we need to send it like multiple times so we will add a for loop integer i i less than count dot get text to string and then we need to uh, parse it into integer because uh, we need it into integer format not in the text format we'll increment the i i plus plus so that's it we have we are done programming it's very simple isn't it Yeah, but we have to add here a try catch so that if some exception happens, then our app won't crash. It will just come into the catch web, catch block, and uh, we will show some toast to users so that user will know something happened or something is happening. Will show a uh, count to the user so user will know um, does SMS is sending or not sending. Like if user give 100 input to he will know like uh, currently we are at 50 and now 50 is remaining like that. And in catch block we will just show the exception to user like sms doesn't send sms sending failed so let's run this software so that we'll see output so let's add some message there Hello, this is Frank SMS. Yeah, don't try to call on that number because it's fake number. I just added some random number there. Yeah, first button is working fine. The yeah, second button also working fine. It showed us count. So that's it for this title. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like this video. So please comment below and give me your suggestions if you have any suggestions. And uh, click on the bell icon so that when I upload next video, you will be notified. And in the next video, we'll be talking about how to send multiple SMS to multiple users over a single click of button. I hope that video will be awesome. So, thank you.